Hi friends and my dear students today we are going to see a very important concept the electron emission electron emission in 7th unit second volume of physics 12th standard before going to see electron emission we started with a suitable example let us assume one metal as shown in the figure inside the metal there may be enormous nucleus are available let us assume one nucleus and or one atom one atom means there may be a orbital like this a nucleus as center and which is positively charged electron revolving the nucleus here the nearest orbit the electron are tightly bonded with the nucleus whereas in the outermost cell electron are loosely bonded with the nucleus so these electrons are capable to move here and there inside the metal and these electron are called free electron even at room temperature itself enormous free electrons are moving here and there randomly inside the metal inside the metal why it cannot be able to come out from this metal that's the thing that we are going to concentrate and know little bit about further more this positive nucleus which will give the attractive force of electron towards the nucleus that is called attractive pull by the nucleus of to the free electron and this may called as potential barrier and this leads to surface barrier and this leads to surface barrier so potential barrier is the causes the surface barrier here in room temperature the kinetic energy of any electron inside the metal are very 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 low for example 0.5 electron volt like this very minimal kinetic energy this energy is not enough to break down this surface energy that's why it cannot able to leave from this metal by break down the surface barrier to the outer now we we have to define surface barrier what is in the surface barrier the surface barrier is only because of the potential barrier that's why the definition may like this the potential barrier potential barrier caused by the nuclei which is prevents this free electron leaving the metal surface leaving the metal surface is called surface barrier are you clear surface barri barrier that is caused by the potential barrier so that we are mingled what is the causes of surface barrier this major caused by the potential barrier here this minimal kinetic energy cannot enough to break down this surface barrier so that it cannot be escaped from this metal now we are giving some amount of energy external energy to this free electron for example for example if you are giving um kinetic energy of an electron equal to 0.5 mev for example for example in the room temperature the kinetic energy of the electron is equal to 0.5 electron volt if you are increasing this 
time take energy like one electron volt then what will happen nothing will happen this is also not enough time take energy to break this surface barrier then you have to increase further more 1.5 electron volt what will happen nothing will happen if you are increasing 2 electron volt what happen this sending kinetic energy is also not enough to break down this surface barrier so nothing will happen if in case the surface surface barrier equal to 3 electron volt 3 electron volt then what will happen when you giving this excess of energy to the free electron equal to the 3 electron volt then this electron break the surface barrier and come outside the metal here we have to consider one thing initially the electron energy is considered to be 0.5 electron volt we are giving 3 electron volt so the difference of energy the difference of energy difference of kinetic energy is equal 3 minus 0.5 electron volt equal 2.5 electron volt that is the kinetic energy of an electron excessively we give to this electron is equal to the 2.5 electron volt and this excess of energy additional with the initial energy both are accumulated that then it will break down the surface energy so that the electron will come outside the metal and this is called work function this is called work function and it was denoted by pi naught in general energy unit for energy in general unit for energy is equal to joule joule but in atomic physics in atomic physics as well as nuclear physics the unit the unit of kinetic energy or energy is calculated in electron volt is calculated in electron volt now in your textbook and note one specific important point what is meant by one electron volt one electron volt is nothing but how much energy gained by the free electron when the electron are accelerated by 1 volt Elect- electron accelerated by 1 potential difference of 1 volt potential difference of 1 volt that is called 1 electron volt now as per the definition one electron volt is nothing but kinetic energy gained kinetic energy gained by electron gained gained by electron or work done by the electric field or work done work done by the electric field electric field what is meant by work done by the electric field suppose suppose here to assume two plate like this one is positive and another is negative you are giving the potential difference between these two plate is called 1 volt 1 volt not in electron volt but 1 volt 
and this within the one volt maintained by these electrodes the electron gained kinetic energy is called one electron volt are you clear now when the potential difference between these two electrode is called one volt and that situation how much the free electron gained are called one electron volt one electron volt this is a very simplest example now this is equal we already know that the value of kinetic gained by electron volt is given by the equation is nothing but q into v q means charge of the electron not charge of the particle here the particle is called electron so that we make right ev also r equivalent to the charge of the electron is nothing but 1.602 into 10 power minus 19 coulomb into 1 volt here what we are applying between these two terminals 1 volt that is why we are putting 1 volt now these two is adding is called joule it is nothing but joule that is why 1.602 to 10 power minus 19 joule 1.602 into 10 power minus 19 joule this is the very very important concept in general the energy of the un unit of the energy is called joule in atomic and nuclear physics the unit of energy in electron volt i think you must be clear very well okay now now we already told this is called work function so what is my work function work function what is meant by work function the work function is the electron this electron this is called electron the minimum energy the minimum energy needed for an electron the minimum energy needed for an electron to escape from the to escape from the metal surface is called work function i think you are understand once again repeat the minimum energy minimum energy needed for an electron to escape from the metal surface is called work function of the metal of the metal and this is and it was given by the letter pi naught so this is called work function definition of the work function and the definition of barrier surface barrier is a very important to mass and third one if so what is electric emission this is a very important concept if so what is the electron emission electron emission is nothing but the liberation the liberation of electron the liberation of electron or you can say in some other words the liberation of electron from any any surface of a substance is called electron emission whatever it may be the metal or whatever it may be the surface the energy minimum energy needed to this electron from any surface of the metal any surface of the metal or any substance is called electron emission that's a very important to mark question so three or four two mark questions one is define one define one is 
define one electron volt second one barrier potential third one work function fourth one electron emission electron emission these four are two mark question very very two mark question very very important i hope you may clear thoroughly about this four definition are you clear now the work function is constant for all metal no not possible not necessary also when you consider work function for some other metals it may be different it depends upon the work function is depends upon the metal you choose and the surface you choose so the work function depends on the metal and the surface that's a very important concept you must understand yeah. under this uh, phenomena there may be a table available in your textbook we are choosing lowest to work function we are choosing the lowest to work lowest to work function for electron emission lowest to work function is needed or choose for electron emission that's why we are getting more number of electrons without spending much more energy much more energy that's why we are cho- choosing the lowest to work function energy metal and such that it was given by in your textbook a table is available but i simply represent the way and the technique how to don't memorize it try to understand that's all when you say ccm 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 means c ccm c s c s c suffixes ccm 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 under the work function value of work function is equal to 2.14 electron volt this is a metal name of the metal name of the metal cesium elect the work function pi not in electron volt in electron volt 2.14 and for potassium 2.30 and for potassium 2.30 and for sodium and for sodium 2.75 2.75 likewise there may be a table available for 12 12 metals why you are giving more important for these three because this is a lowest energy lowest energy required for work function that's why we are giving for importance of these three lowest work function that's why we are choosing these metals for electron emission now the electron emission depends on electron emission is deferred depends upon the sources of energy what in what way we are giving the energy and because of that the electron emission may happen the first one is there are four types are available for electron emission in your textbook first one thermionic emission thermionic emission thermionic emission second one is thermionic emission second one is field emission field emission third and third one is photoelectric photoelectric emission then last one is 
secondary emission secondary emission these four must be clipped and asked for one five mark question or uh, sometimes it may be individually asked in three mark questions you must thoroughly know about the concept clearly then you can write four three marks or one five marks very 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 important concept and very easy also now i just give introduction for this uh, four elements tomorrow we have to see our next class we have to see about this four detail matter thermionic emission is nothing but due to thermal energy thermal energy thermal energy thermal energy the electron are emitted that is called thermionic emission field and emission means due to field electric field it was applied between positive and negative plate then if you are placed a metal here then there may be emission of electron there may be emission of electron that is it is called as field emission what is the photoelectric emission photoelectric emission is nothing but when you consider one photosynthesis surface and one anode and this was given to the negative terminals and this was given to the positive voltage then this has a this surface is called photo photosensitive surface photo sensitive surface photo sensitive surface it has a tendency whenever the light rays which falls on the surface of the photosensitive surface automatically it will emits the electron that process is called photosensitive emission <coughs> we are going to detail the <coughs> tomorrow we have to detail um next class we have to see clearly and the last one <coughs> sorry <coughs> secondary emission what is in the secondary emission one electron in first stage was accelerated by first accelerated by the first time and so that it accelerated because of the first process so the fastest moving electron hit the surface of the metal what happened here you to hit the surface and free electron inside the metal get enormous energy and this energy are able to break the barrier potential so that it break down and come comes out that is why it is called secondary emission you must clear one thing the first electron it is normal free electron it was accelerated by some other process so that the fastest or heaviest energy energetic electron ray whenever hit the surface of the metal or any metal and this excess of energy brings this free electron to this outer to break down this surface barrier it is called secondary emission next class we have to clearly explain all the concept detail manner i hope you may be satisfied about these classes subscribe my channel and recommend your friends and ring the bell or press the bell thank you thank you very much ये तो पूरा